kerosene poisoning. Let's talk about that. My name is Nosvera Nikalbi. Kerosene is a petroleum product that's used as fuel in lambs for cooking. You can also find them in paints and pesticides. Now, when this is taken into the body, it is very harmful. It's usually taken in by inhalation, by swallowing, by contact to your skin or your eyes. The symptoms of kerosene poisoning can occur differently with different people. It can either be mild or severe depending on the amount consumed. Some of these symptoms could be a burning or painful sensation in the mouth, in the throat, and on your food pipe, that's the esophagus. If it is inhaled, you can experience drowsiness, vomiting, headaches, lack of coordination. There could also be coughing and difficult breathing. The swelling and pain in the throat can also make it difficult to swallow. If it comes in contact with the skin, it can cause skin burns. In the eyes, it can cause a burning or stinging sensation and also teary eyes. For some people, there may be loss of vision. There is also bloody vomiting, bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain, low blood pressure. Some individuals act like they are drunk convulsions and sometimes collapse. If kerosene poisoning is not promptly managed, it can lead to some life-threatening complications such as in the lungs there could be lung collapse, there could be tightening of the respiratory muscles, there's death of the lung tissue, blood clotting and bleeding in the lungs. In the stomach it can cause ulcers, it can also lead to decay in the heart muscles, and breakdown of blood cells. Let's talk about some first aid measures to help an individual with kerosene poisoning. The first thing is call for help. While you are waiting for help, check the amount of kerosene that was ingested and the time it was ingested. Remove the person from that area where they were exposed to kerosene and take them to a well-ventilated space. Remove tight clothes Make sure that the person is sitting upright. Don't make them lie down. Except they are unconscious before you lie them on one side so that the fluid will not get into the lungs. While the person is sitting upright, check for their heartbeat. You can listen to their chest to hear if the heart is beating or you place three fingers here to see if you would feel anything beating. That's the heartbeat. If the clothes are soiled or smelling of kerosene, please take them off immediately. If there was any contact with the skin, wash that area thoroughly with soap and water. If there was also contact with the eyes, wash thoroughly with water for about 10 to 15 minutes. Do not try to make the patient vomit. This can cause the kerosene to get into the lungs. Take the person to the nearest hospital to you, if possible, with the container of the kerosene they took. At the hospital, the healthcare provider will usually check for the symptoms and also carry out some lab tests and some scans. The treatment is usually to stabilize the breathing. In some cases, some drips may be given, and in other severe cases, oxygen and some antibiotics. Now, how do we prevent kerosene poisoning. The first thing is this. Don't store kerosene in beverage bottles like this. Usually children or even some adults will think that this is a drink that can be consumed. So when you put kerosene in such bottles, there is a higher risk that people will take it and drink without knowing. For people that use kerosene to cook, do not keep kerosene in your kitchen or cooking area. Label your kerosene containers boldly. With prompt management, patients with kerosene poisoning will get better and go back to their normal lives. But in extreme cases, there may be lung infection or death. Remember to always label your kerosene containers. Don't put them in beverage bottles. Keep them away from the kitchen area. And when you are trying to help a patient with kerosene poisoning, do not make them 
vomit. Alright, till next time. Bye bye.